hey guys so i'm gonna do a little get ready with me um yeah so as you saw in the title we're gonna get ready for my dress rehearsal i was gonna do like get ready with me for my actual concert but my boyfriend's coming into town and i want it to be more relaxed and less like i have to go film for a video before i can go do the other important thing and because this is just a dress rehearsal I can be more relaxed with you and I'm starting it right now at 507 call time is 6 but I want to get there a little early if I can and my makeup does not take that long and this is not gonna be an hour-long video so it's fine I don't know and I'm taking a lot of stuff back and you'll see all of my moving process stuff moving back home moving in with my boyfriend in a different video but my room looks like clearly crazy right now. This is a blow up mattress. My desk, my mirror is gone. My seat is gone. Like the desk is the last piece of furniture I actually have here. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. So, I don't know. We're going to do my makeup. I'm going to show you guys some things that I have. I have all, I left. So what I did when I moved back, moved, I moved a bunch of stuff back, right? Anyways, as we are all aware currently. This is my everyday makeup that I end up using for concert anyways, but this is all the extra makeup that I need for concert stuff. And like, I'm really hoping that nothing goes bad. So I have old lashes and my friends were like, can't believe you would do that. I've got two makeup palettes that I'll use. So I've got some brushes, I've got lipstick, I've got eyeliner in case I decide to use it. I don't know why I would, but you know, I've got this lip stuff and then I've got, um, for my like eyebrows i guess i don't know kept it thought i think it was fun lash glue i've got i'll show you guys what this is looking like in a second um and i'll just talk to you guys while i do this i've got my foundation which i use the bare minerals bare pro and i use fair neutral 15 like fair 15 neutral that one and then i also use this warm light seven and they're both the same product but they rebranded between when I bought this one and when I bought this one. And when I went, when I, I lost this one, that's the tea, okay? I lost this one. I don't, I think it was like behind the couch or something last year, like during last school year. And I was like, shit, man, I gotta buy a new one because this is my favorite foundation that I've liked so far that actually like looks nice on my skin. And I do want to experiment more with, with, um, liquid foundations more soon. Um, I used my friend's. Um, I can't remember what the brand is called. It was Lady Gaga's brand. I can't remember the name of it for some reason. But I really like that liquid one. But I really just... these this I just really like this this uh, powder foundation. I don't know why. But anyways, I have two of these from Bare Minerals. And I like to like mix and match with those. I have a liquid concealer. Creases Concealer. The Tarte Creases Concealer. I like feel like I bet there's better concealers out there. But I've always used the Creases one for some reason. So I couldn't really tell you. But I always have my clock lip in here. Even though I don't use that. I have a... I asked for beauty blenders for Christmas. And I've been using the living shit out of this one. But I have another clean one somewhere. Which is awesome. Anyways. And then I just have like blush and stuff. And I'll show you guys more what I do. When I'm doing it. So let's get started. I am going to be inside. So I won't really need any sunscreen or anything. I... Usually, when I do my makeup and I'm going to be outside a lot, I'll use my Super Glow sunscreen um, as kind of like my base. But since I'm going to be inside, I'll just use, use the Poor Professional by Benefit. I don't know why I have. I don't know how long I've had this. I've had this for like ever. You know what I think about a lot? Um, the fact that some... Um, that makeup expires. Like, I think about this all the time. Makeup expires, by the way. And... I just like... And that was a lot. I don't know why I got so much out for some reason. Um, makeup expires, by the way. And that is not something that I, like, actively think about. And that some of this makeup probably is very much expired. But what is, what's the worst it's going to do? I don't know. Somebody tell me. Because I, like, some of it, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how stuff expires. Like, this 12 months, like a year. And I'm like, there's no way I'm using that in a year, homie. Absolutely not. Anyways, I, that's just kind of where we're at right now. I wish I had more light in here. It's so dark for some reason. I don't know where my phone went others. And I, I took my only lamp back to, 
also home. So this will probably, to be honest with you guys, where did my tweezer go? Found it. This will probably be the last video. I'm so sorry. I saw this when I was in the bathroom and I had to get that. That was so just bugging me. This will probably be the last video that I film in this room. Besides more stuff for my moving vlog. But that's like another video and that's like it that we're done. And that's also probably my last video that I'll film in school. Like at school. At college obviously because that's how that works. I don't know why I felt the need to start tweezing my eyebrows right now, which is really unnecessary. Because who's gonna see that on stage? Not a single person. But I'm crazy. Okay, we're gonna do Bare Minerals. Whoa. Bare Minerals first. I hit pan. Anyways, I hit pan on this one. Look, you can see yourself in it. So cute. Look, you're propped up on a box. Can I show you that? Is that gonna work? Wait, look. That's my phone. This is a box. And this is you. Okay. I hit pan on this one, obviously because I love it and it's my favorite. But I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of this one just because I've been out in the sun a little bit more. And my skin... Because when I went and did this one, I think it was at a different time when I got that one, like swatched or whatever anyway yeah. this one is a little bit darker and a little bit yellowier i don't know what but this one i actually got matched i don't remember how i picked out the color for this one but this one i got color matched for there's a mirror here by the way that's why i'm like going like this but i was like matched for it so i tend to use this one more for when i'm performing also just because it's I think it's a different like blend I don't know why but I just tend to do that to myself I couldn't tell you also probably because it gives me more color maybe that's like the more logical thought in my head is like I use it more when I'm performing because it gives me more color and it doesn't make me look white on stage so that's what we're doing I don't know Anyway, they give you this little, like, thing, and I just kind of, like, do this. I don't know. It's not really the best, but that is my alarm to start doing this because I know I'm going to get it done quick. That's just true. Okay. Any who's all. What was I going to say? Oh. I, I really want to get into makeup more. I've got started setting up my desk in my new place with my boy. Um... And I started setting it up and it looks really good and I'm really excited to move in and like have this cute little space where I can do my makeup and like become a very like I want to be a skincare girly, I want to be a perfume girly, whatnot, whatnot. I don't know, but um, anyways, I don't know what I was saying. I was saying that oh i want to be like a skincare girly i want to be a makeup girly i want to do all the things because i am just like being in school i really rarely do i put on makeup and rarely do i do a lot of things and i just want to be a girl's girl again and i'm just not a girl's girl right now but anyway i gotta go get my beauty blender wet be or forgive me but any who's all i want to like i want to really start like filming makeup videos Anyway, the shadows piss me off. I really want to start filming makeup videos. Um, and like more, more lean into like the style I already do. But like, I don't know. I just want to do more fun stuff. But I'm planning to start sewing. I, some, some sad stuff happened a little bit ago. Um, some kind of sad stuff has happened. And my grandma is selling her house because of reasons um if you know my grandpa died a really while ago i think it's been like two years since he died but anyways it's been hard it's been hard and long story short is she's selling her house and she's doing a yard sale and we went all went over there and i collected a lot of fun stuff which low-key 
I should give you guys a grandma yard sale haul, but probably not. Probably won't. I'll just probably bring it up every once in a while. But I got a bunch of fun stuff. I got like these really cute like pictures. Like one was like ceramic. I don't know who made it. There's a signature on the bottom. I don't know what it says. I'm assuming one of my uncles, maybe my aunt, but it looks like like it. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Maybe one of them. I have no idea. But somebody made it and it's really cute. It has a signature on it. I have no idea who. The other one's like clear and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want to like make fresh lemonade and stuff in it. That'd be so cute. Summer activities. But anyways, I got a bunch of other stuff. I got some sentimental stuff. The boys picked out some knives. You know like those knife blocks that you like put the knives in? He got one of those and it comes with like a little knife sharpener. He was so excited. Um, what else did we get? Like, so we got some glasses, we got some kitchen stuff, just for fun sillies. But I found, no, somebody pointed it out to me, because I was talking about how I want to start sewing. Someone opened this, like, little cabinet thingy, and there was a ton of tablecloths that she was going to get rid of, and I was like. <coughs> so I took a bunch of tablecloths, one of which I don't know if I'm going to mess with yet, because, unless I can find a good way to preserve it and, like, whatnot, because she hand sewed these things on it. So I was like. Might have to just save that one. But the other ones, like one of them is like really cute. It's got like hot dogs on it and like watermelon. And it's supposed to be like all picnicky. I want to try to sew a vest, like a like a cute vest or something. And I want to do that in time to wear it for the Fourth of July because I'm like surprised my grandma with it because we always go camping and I think that'd be fun. And then there's like been like these trendy pants here. I'll put a picture right here. Those pants and I want to make like those pants with like a matching vest or something i don't know that's all i'm thinking about lately is just like really cute vests i don't know why but i want to make like those kind of pants and i can't decide if i want to make straight up pants or if i want to make pants that like connect on the side like that or also have them be like transition into shorts like i can just like untie them like picture this picture this shorts they can they're like short they connect here so when I unconnect them, I take them off, I can just like tie bows around the bottom. But then when I connect them, I tie bows to each one so they're together. Kind of. Kind of. That's the thought. I really couldn't tell you, but that's what I'm thinking. But I want to start sewing because I have a sewing machine. My mom bought me one for Christmas and I have not figured out how to use it because I'm stupid and I don't know how to use sewing machine apparently. But my cousin took sewing classes and Tyler's grandma hemmed my pants for me so she knows how to sew and she's been wanting us to come back over there so i'm like maybe i'll ask her to like so my hemming <laughs> backtrack my hemming on the pants that she hemmed one of them is starting to come undone and maybe that's because i'm party hardying too hard in my dance classes i uh, the bottom is like cut barely coming undone like literally like this much of it is coming like this much of the bottom hemming is coming out but it's coming undone a little bit so I might have her like fix it and then while we're at it, I'm like, can you explain to me how to sew a little bit? Just like a quick uh, sewing 101, brief synopsis, like nothing, no biggie. But I just like need to know how to make my sewing machine work. Or maybe I'll like bring my sewing machine with me and be like, Miss girl, can you teach me how to use it? Because I can't get mine to freaking work properly. Like I tried so hard for a while and... I just can't get it to work, so I don't know if I'm just not putting the, the pieces in correctly or not incorrectly or not. I have no idea. But that's all I'd like to say about it is I want to start sewing. But don't worry, I'm still going to be crocheting because I'm working on a blanket right now. And <laughs> I'm working on a blanket right now, and if you guys know anything about this blanket, it was supposed to be for my boyfriend's mom for Christmas. But I'm bad at what I do, and I just forgot. No, I didn't forget. I just... <laughs> I feel like saying I forgot is better than saying the fact that I decided to do this. But anyways, I hated the pattern and it was like, you'd look at it and it'd be like, because it just, I, I don't know why, but I didn't crochet straight. Like it didn't crochet straight. So the blanket looked all funky. And I was like, I'm starting over and I'm adding a pattern this time. And now I'm doing double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. And I'm doing like a sort of pattern. So it actually has some texture to it. And it's also going straight now. And I'm almost done redoing with all the yarn that I have and then I think I'm going to order a batch on Amazon because I found it on Amazon and then I can finish it. I want to finish it by the time she decides to come visit us at some point whenever that will be um, 
but I, I just don't know because I don't know that thing's hard to do it is long and it's a lot harder than I thought even though it's really easy I just like it's like it takes forever and then my hand starts cramping up and I don't even know but I'm loving it so and I have some other ideas too for like stuff I want to crochet my friend um she used to be on the dance team she sent me um she's gonna send me a pattern for this cute little bag that can hold like my books and like some stuff in it and I was like oh my god that's so cute so she's gonna send that to me and there's also this like weird horse guy that I really want to crochet for fun and I just want to crochet some fun stuff and there's this thing called indie clove and it's in Utah and I think they have it in like Ohio and Idaho and stuff but anyways they you can like buy a booth for like 30 bucks and then sell stuff and if I made good enough stuff like sewing like if I made little baggies or like something i made some cute stuff crocheting like i feel like i could sell it there but you just have to like i just have to like be guaranteed that i would make more than 30 bucks so i can make my money back and make money after that you know what i mean anyways i just did my eyeshadow i'm not sure that i like it i might have to see my roommate slash bestie bay who's on the dance team the, the bestie that is on the dance team She's got like a lot better of an eyeshadow than I do, so I might just steal some of hers to darken up my eyeshadow a little bit. Which means I will definitely want to be there a little bit sooner than later, but that's fine. We're gonna keep going. Travel on. <sighs> anyway, so now we're gonna do blush. And here's how I've decided to do my blush now. I saw one of my friends do this, and I was like, that's genius. I love it. I love it. It's so much better than me, like like it's a stick you know what I mean and I used to just be like and then I just blend it out but I feel like this is a lot better even though it's got like little hairs on the stuff but I feel like it's gonna last me so much longer if I do it like this see what I mean like that is kind of and then I can just kind of like whoop, whoop, whoop. that looks insane on camera holy shit I promise in real life, it does not look as crazy. I promise. I promise you in my whole heart and soul. Yeah, like, I, okay. This one's just a little bit more than I think the other one. Okay. And then what I do is I usually just take like I'm I'm hit, I I've hit pan on this on this literally so many times but it's the dandelion by benefit and I always end up getting the mini one because I can't afford the big one but I should probably invest in the big one but anyways I've got like this like skinny sliver and I kind of like, get anything I can on that and I just like brush it on top just to kind of like settle the other blush and just kind of like maybe dull it down just a little bit and kind of. I don't know. I don't know why I do what I do, but I do it. Ooh, okay, it looks crazy on screen, but I swear it's not. I swear, like I almost, I almost need more. Anywho, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. Um, I usually don't do too much when you're on stage. Um, just because I don't want it to be kind of like too bright, but I always kind of just do it anyways because my favorite thing about stage makeup is that I pretty much do the same thing I would do any other day. Just like a little bit extra blush and I do eyeshadow. That's like pretty much the only difference. And lipstick, but so yeah, anyways, I'm like pretty much done and then we have to do my hair, but everything else pretty much done so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to compile all the makeup that I want to have with me on standby and that's going to be I think these no I think just this one because this one has the darker darker eyeshadow in it my blush is gonna go with me because you never know my lashes my lash glue my lipsticks my lipsticks the what can stay is going oh my, i'm gonna need my lash curler and my mascara 
what I'm gonna leave is my lips this lip stain and my gloss because I don't ever wear these for shows this stuff you know stuff that I'm not really gonna need this can stay I'm gonna I mm, can go in these can stay because they're done it's done already and I'm gonna brush my brows a little I'm glad I left this here because I almost didn't but I like I really like grooming my brows um, and I really, my friend has a wax, like a wax thingy, and I don't really want one, kind of. Anywho, that's kind of it. I may, I mean, to be honest, I've been talking the whole time, it's already been 20 minutes, 20 long minutes. We're gonna do my hair, it's just gonna be a low pony, so. What time is it? Okay, it's literally only 5.30. That's awesome. So I left my hair greasy today. I'm gonna shower tomorrow morning, I think. Or tonight, depending on how I feel, but probably tomorrow morning. Cause I don't got anything going on. Guys, I did my last class for my life, probably. I don't know, I might go back to school at some point for something, but like maybe cause I don't know. I don't know. Cause some people, some people in my life are like, maybe you should. And I was like, that's a lot of money. But anyways, my last class at Snow College, though, and that's pretty bizarre. So, just letting you know that I did that today. That this morning, though, at 9 in the morning, I've been done for a while. Okay, we're gonna low pony it. I'm gonna just throw this in a little pony. Just get it real tight. That's what he said, huh? Okay. I've only owned two bobby pins currently. Two bobby pins that I like. And um, I'm going to just bobby pin one side right next to my ear. Um, hopefully that's long enough to contain my bangs. But when my hair is greasy enough though, it doesn't move. See? And then I'm going to throw on some hairspray. Which makes me feel like maybe I should not wash my hair tomorrow, but also I probably should because I t like thought about it and I was like, I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow because my boyfriend's coming into town and if he comes here and my hair looks all gross, I'll feel embarrassed. Even though he's seen me with my gross hair before, but I don't know. I just was like, that's not happening. Sorry. And he will be seeing me with gross hair again because I'm not gonna wash my hair. Saturday morning, the concert's tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow night and Saturday, I'm not going to wash my hair on Saturday because I'm just going to wash it again after. I don't know. Does that make sense? Oh, so that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty much done now. Okay, so that's it for this. I've done my hair. It's all slicked. It's all hairsprayed now. And my makeup's mostly done. I usually do my lashes and my lips at in the dressing room closer to before I go they're opening with a piece that I'm not in and then there's so that we do if you don't if you don't know anything about this concert it is the dance team and then it is the ballroom team dance team goes ballroom team goes dance team ballroom team goes and then we have like a couple of people like a random high schools and like the drill team they sometimes throw things in there drill team's not in there this week this concert though because they dropped out Anyways, I have beef with them. Not really. But anyways, long story short is, that's how it goes. And I'm not in the first piece that's from the dance team, us. And I'm obviously not in the bottom piece. So I'm not in the first two pieces, which is killer. Which means I have extra time to get my lipstick on and my lashes on. I want to get my lashes on probably before... Before... My team goes on stage... But while they're on stage, I'll put lipstick on. Because you always gotta be prepared. You never know what's gonna happen. But also, yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. One year, last year, last year it was so busy they had a choir concert going on at the same time. We had to start, we had to do the first two pieces twice. Just letting you know. Um, but anyway, that's it for you guys. Little Pony, this is it. If you guys wanna see what it's really like being in the dance show in the most chaotic form, go see my Week in the Life of a Dance Major. I literally document the entirety of tech week and the show from last from the fall concert and that was a pretty hectic concert because a lot of 
things happened a lot of people ended up broken and you get to hear all about it and see how everything went it was very very hectic i would do that this time but it is my last show so i do want to just soak it up and not record but i did this for you guys and that's it and i hope you guys liked it bye